name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Ko's Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> This animatronic always was my favourite. The sound effects, the noise. Brilliant. That's one of the main things I'll miss about this. Are you cut out to be prehistoric hunter dash gatherer? <laughs> so it's real Doncaster history this. You're very hungry, which food will you go for? Got some creatures down here. Very, very nice indeed. Gatherers and hunters. Some nice items around here. Lovely, lovely models. There's a stuffed fox. <laughs> yeah, look at the detail on the seal here. Absolutely brilliant. Look at his little face. <laughs> brilliant. Um, some jungle stuff around here as well. There's me. Hello. <laughs> See, I have lots of memories coming here when I was a kid. I've been here loads of times in the past for the last 10 years. I've been coming to this for the last 10, 15 years as a little kid. Wetland birds. So I've got a lot of memories with this place and it's going to be sad to see it closed. But I guess developments have to move forward. Are you ready for the best I'm a celebrity attraction entrance? <laughs> Lovely jungle theming around here. We're folding it around to the other side. And you got this. So, using the decoy, layering the ducks. Very nice. So yeah, like I was saying, I've got lots of memories coming here when I was a kid for the last 10, 15 years. So it's going to be sad to see all this go. Now I believe this is set to be storage for the old, uh, for the new museum. This is all set to be like a storage space, so it's good they're going to tie it in with the new one. Some ducks. Very nice indeed. We look through here. That's some of these. Now these are artifacts. Beakers, burials and bronze. <laughs> so you've got some nice stuff here, some nice artifacts. Very, very nice indeed. Lovely vars. Absolutely lovely. You got these models here. Look at the little detail on this. This is the best mannequin challenge you could ever do. Very, very nice indeed. Questions of belief in the Iron Age. Very, very nice.
That's the guy I got. Barrel and beat workers. Hello, it's a dear friend. I'll come back through this way because there's another bit that I absolutely loved about this museum. Da, da, da. It's a crawl section. <laughs> so you're not going to see anything for about 10-15 seconds depending on how long I get through this. <laughs> but I think I'm nearly too big for this crawl section. <laughs> Don't go in if you've got back problems. <laughs> but you can see just there a sleeping mole creature. So it's a good photo spot. Uh, coming through the crawl section. <laughs> Thank God it's the last time I'm doing that one. Uh, you come back through here. So you can take a shortcut if you want through the crawl section. I'm too big for that section. <laughs> So this is a very special piece of equipment. Very, very nice. So we've got these. It's an Iron Age marsh fort. And some of the materials that we used. And specifically, it was the Sutton Common Marsh Fort. When they reconstructed the fort using these materials. That was a nice overlook. There's a nice Roman general. Lovely detail for the time, for that time, when they were doing animatronics and models. Um, very nice for its time. They're walking through here. You've got Roman home comforts, as it says up there. It sounds like the start of a new soap opera, Roman home comforts, or some kind of Roman version of Gogglebox. <laughs> got some nice artifacts down there. There's a nice. See, that's what I like about this as well. It's not just models and things like that. It's nice, you know, artwork um, on the walls to make it look like you're part of the history. We get another example here: a European market. So you got ten money. Got really spin it. <coughs> uh, a cherry, two jewelry, three glass, four cereals, five grapes. Six olives, seven something and figs, <laughs> eight wine, nine pottery, and of course ten money again. Roman trade. So very, very nice things here. These are some of the items. I'm not a massive history person, but I love looking around this museum just for the fact that some of the artifacts are quite interesting to look at and it's good to read stuff as well. Gods of Roman Britain. Heaven and Earth. Very nice models there. Read that. So that is a Greek symbol. That is a very nice addition to the wall. I mean, just something like that makes a blank wall look very, very interesting. Some more artifacts. Very, very nice. And then we come through 
into this. So this is some more Roman stuff. Roman burials. And that, what you're looking at right now, is the Pollington skeleton found in a quarry in Pollington. So you can see there, you can see the remains of the guy. Nice artifacts there. Now this bit, uh, the King's own Yorkshire Light Infantry, that was one of my favourite bits as well, that is now closed as part of the relocation project. So that says to me that all of the stuff inside this is getting relocated to the new uh, museum, which is really nice. Good to see this keeping some of the old stuff. I hope some of these, some of these models and the sound effect for the polar bear moves as well. Got some more of these medieval pots ready for shipping. Hopefully get shipped to the new museum as well. Very, very nice. And we come through to this section, so medieval boat timbers from the quayside. So these are some of like materials that they used for the boats in medieval times. Some of the water animals. The Doncaster surgeon. That is absolutely massive. <laughs> These are some old pictures from South Yorkshire. So you've got Don Navigation, 1726. You've got loads of other stuff. You've got a glass bottle factory from 1910. Very nice old pictures there. The ferry across the Don around 1910 as well. Uh, extending Doncaster Lock, 1909 to 1910. On the Don, near Thorn around 1910. Doncaster Lock around 1920. Humber keels on the Don Navigation at Doncaster around 1910. Humber keel at Lewitt Hag around 1925. Sprockwood Bridge around 1910. Sprockwood Lock around 1920. A barge on the River Don around 1900. Very nice indeed. Humber keel on the River Don at Lewis Hag Scarborough around 1925. And you got this, the Don Navigation at Doncaster around 1905. And then you come up to an archway which makes you look like you're about to walk into the brand new uh, Aqualand at Energylandia this year. <laughs> there you go, search for the porch. Right, this is a little mini game this, I, lo I love when things do this. Um, <laughs> it's hard to do it with one hand but I'm hoping I can get somewhere with this one. No, I haven't even hooked onto something. Okay, I've hooked something. That is the carport, car part. Let's try and hook something else. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Uh, see, it's hard to follow it, especially with a camera. Have I hooked it? Nope, that's just the can. <laughs> that's a tin can to be preserved. Trying to get a good grip onto it. Bike tyre. <laughs> Three strikes, I'm out. <laughs> Let's try and hook this one. If I can get that. <laughs> Let's try and hook. Stuck for a minute. Oh, I almost had it. Got something? Football. <laughs> All of that for a football. Um, what's the one at the front again? I don't know if I've already tried this one. Yeah, that's the car part. We've tried that one. So it's definitely on this side. If I manage to get this before it becomes clear which one it is, then I will be amazed. Shopping chop. <laughs> which means if I can get the hook over here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I found the porch. <laughs> So a very nice mini game for the kids there. So I hope they have one of these in the music, in the in the new one. So hope that comes about. So these are some old 
um, uh, war medals uh, and some cutlery as well. So loads of different items here from the uh, mansion house display. So loads of different artifacts. It's got a very vintage feel for it. Nice horse racing there. Um, very nice outfit. You got some of the uh, plates there. There we go. That's a trophy. <laughs> Uh, and these are some of the other racing horse trophies. So you got this one here. You got these gold ones, which look fantastic. I hope the, I hope they go across to the new museum. I really hope so. Some nice displays, and then this one, the massive shield. <laughs> and this was a display about racing from Doncaster. So. This was the plan and survey of the race course. If you've ever been to Doncaster Race Course, this is the plans for it that was first released. So, you know, this is this is history in the making right here. And I, to be fair, I haven't seen this display in a couple of years. So uh, I think there was a time where I had to rush through it because I wanted to see everything, but I had to rush through it uh, and not take me time. So now I'm taking me time. I haven't seen this in a couple of years, so it's very, uh, very nice. Riders of Yorkshire. <laughs> Ever seen the Simon videos? Drivers of London, <laughs> County Town Trade, seven hundred to nineteen hundred. So there's some old classic weapons there. And then going through, going through, and checking this bit out. Doncaster Trade and Industry. So these are some of the old packaging from the old days. So Parkinson's coffee, uh, toffee, uh, coffee, toffee, um, Nuttles, Mintos. These, these are some stuff that I don't. I wasn't even born when these were some of these around, and I wasn't even born when some of these didn't exist anymore. <laughs> uh, these, this, that's an old, that's an old uh, toilet seat, something like that. Um, a few artifacts down here as well. Uh, Doncaster at War, Health, Staying Alive in Doncaster. We've got some more artifacts over here. Victorian Doncaster. Some stuff around here. And this, my friends, is an old shortboard. This is the old copper plate writing. Which is very nice indeed. And you got this about education in Doncaster at the time. Yeah. Artifacts there. All the stuff around here. Hallelujah. You've got this display around here, so you've got a nice fox looking through a bin. <laughs> Over wildlife. And that was, that's a shipping display ready for the new museum, probably. Add this. This is one of my favourite displays because it is the old Doncaster Rovers. One of my favourite team, my childhood team. This is an old award. Got one of the old kits. 2500. This is another old kit. It's one of the old scarves. And that, my friends, is one of the Bellevue programs. I was at the last game at Bellevue. I was there watching the lights go out. And I've watched that game in full. I've seen it on YouTube. I've seen it in full. Uh, the Rovers playoff, conference playoff final against Daniel Murrabridge, Sport in Doncaster. And we end our tour of the museum around here. So this is some more uh, Victorian stuff. We've got a sign for Lion's Tea. Other brands are available, of course. Um, got some nice artifacts around here. Very, very nice. A1 Lancaster, A6, A635 Bansley. Uh, there's a nice... There's, this is a Paddington Bear one. So this is... Please look after that bear. Thank you. So, very nice message there. Got some of the artwork on display. Got the wall, which is filled with all the historical figures. 
And then you've also got some of the artifacts, the model work, uh, around here. A mask. Some good old fashioned shoes. And this, my friends, was a bench. Now, this might not be interesting, but I've sat on this bench numerous times. Numerous times in my life. Uh, when I came here for the last 10-15 years. And... Yeah, this bench has got so many memories, so many uh, childhood memories from this bench. Uh, I'd be glad to see this at the new museum, but I don't want it to see it go. And we end with a trip round into these. Now, these are the old cars and transport. I mean, this is ridiculously impressive. This is one of the old cars, this one. Call the fire brigade. Cheswell car. This is another one of the old cars. This is the this, this, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen that. And finally you got this one. Very, very nice. Uh, the Ford. Built in 1858. So very, very nice indeed. So that, my friends, is the end of the museum and I'll wrap up my thoughts on this vlog very nice so there we go so that is the last time around this museum um, last ever day um, and I said it throughout the vlog I've got so many childhood memories over the last 10-15 years around this entire building um, the bench that I showed you earlier um, you know I've had so many photos on that bench as a kid and you know, the fact that this is going after today is quite sad for me personally. Uh, but I thought, you know what, I might as well come because it's the last day. It's still an attraction. A museum is still an attraction. And I'll give you guys uh, a bit of a tour around just so you don't forget um, this attraction. So the new museum is opening in the summer just across the road. Uh, but this is the last time I am here at the old museum. It's been going for over 80 years. So... Rest in peace to the old Doncaster Museum. My name is Coach Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep on the ghost life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.